Next, we need to learn to tell time. You're thinking, I can tell time. I've been doing that all my life since I was in the first grade. Well, we must learn about what's called military time or 24-hour time. The way we tell time in modern everyday culture, and pardon me, I've got this scratchy throat. <coughs> <coughs> this is terrible. <coughs> I'll try to overcome this and not cough too much. The way we tell time in our modern everyday culture is what's called 12-hour time. That's where, of course, the day begins at midnight. You go 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, all the way up uh, till noon. But that's called AM time. And this may help for later. That A and AM is a word that means before. That AM is from a Latin word that means before noon. Then it starts all over. Another 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Those are PM times. And this will come in handy later. That P from a word that means after means after noon <coughs> in Latin, literally. So we have something like, you know, 6.30 a.m. The problem, the problem is, if you just say, what time is it? Oh, 6.30. Well, there's two 6.30s. If you just, as a medical person, write down, you gave Ms. McGill a cut of your medicine at 6.30, well, there's two 6.30s every day. And that's a major problem. You got to know which 6.30 it is. So a lot of medical facilities are going to, or have gone to using military time to avoid that confusion. Depends on where you work. If it's a doctor's office or hospital, nursing home, some still use the 12 hour time, some use the military time. You do, of course, what they tell you to. But you need to know how to do this. So, first let's look at the 12 hour time. Things like 6.30 a.m. It means <coughs> that has been six hours and 30 minutes. That's in the morning, before noon. It's been six hours and 30 minutes since the day began. But let's convert that to military time. Now, three basic rules in writing military time or 24 hour time. Use either term, it means the same thing. First of all, you don't put the AM or the PM and you don't put the dots there, but you have to have four numbers, four digits. There's only three there. So you add a zero, you put zero, six, 30, that's all. No AM, no dots, there are four digits. That means it's been six hours and 30 minutes since the day began at the previous midnight. Now, it depends on what branch of service you might be in. If you're in the Army or Air Force, whatever it was, some say 0630, some will say 0630. It doesn't matter how you say it. Some put the word hours, <clears throat> 0630 hours. <clears throat> Saying it doesn't matter know how to write it and how to read it and what it is when you see it. <coughs> I do apologize, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go back and make a new video cause I'm coughing, okay? You won't catch this. What about this? There's already four digits, 1115. It's AM, okay, so all we have to do is just take out the dots, take out the AM, the time is 1115. That means the first two numbers, that's how many hours it's been, that's the minutes it's been since midnight. It's been 11 hours and 15 minutes since the day started at midnight. Now, PM, it's afternoon. They've already been <coughs> 12 hours from midnight until noon. Now they've gone three hours and 20 minutes beyond noon. So all you have to do with the PM is add the number 12 to the hour portion. Three plus 12 makes 15. So 15, 20 is the time. A caution again, don't put the dots, don't put the P, that's all you need. 15, 20. It's been 15 hours and 20 minutes since the previous midnight. 9, 15 p.m. Again, add 12 to the 9, add 12. Of course, in your head, which, put it on paper, whichever it is. That means uh, 21, 15. There's a time. So that's how to change 12 hour time into military or 24 hour time. Let's go backwards. What if you have something like this? Hey, anytime the first two are 12 or less, that means, well, less than 12, it's before noon. So all I have to do here is drop the zero. Don't put the zero over there in the 12 hour time. Drop that zero and it's what? Eight, to put the dots in but we have to put the AM. You have to put AM or PM in the 12 hour time. 
8 o'clock a.m. If there are already four numbers there, well, you just put the dots in place. 10, dot, dot, 10, 45. When, though, that's, since that's less than 12, we know it's before noon. 10.45 a.m. Well, these two, those are higher than 12. We know it's afternoon. It's a p.m. time. So do just the reverse of this. And here we added 12 to this. We subtract 12 from this. So to, to, subtract 12 from the first two numbers. So subtract 12 from the 13. That means 1, 1, 20, when? p.m. 1.20 p.m. See, this tells you it's been one hour and 20 minutes since noon. Same thing as saying that's 13 hours and 20 minutes since the previous midnight. Understand how those numbers work, how they, what they mean. <clears throat> Again, since that's more than 12, subtract 12 from that. Subtract 12 from 22. That means 10, 10, dot, dot, 45, p.m., 10.45 p.m. Now, we're not done quite yet, but you need to be able to convert military time or 24-hour time into 12-hour time and vice versa. You got some of this in your homework. Learn to do this. Something a little bit tricky is exactly noon and exactly midnight because some people get confused about this. Exactly midnight is 12 o'clock a.m. in 12-hour time. 12 o'clock a.m. is when the day starts at midnight. 12 o'clock p.m. is noon. But some people get those confused as to which is which. Well, in the military time, there's no confusion. Do this one first. In military time, 12 p.m., 12 noon is 1,200. Once again, no dots, no p.m. That means it's been 12 hours since the day started. It's now noon. But midnight, now this can be done in two different ways. It depends upon if you're in the military, which branch of the military you're in. If you're in some medical setting where they do this, there's two ways it can be done. You do it the way they tell you to. You can express this as just four zeros. That means it's clicked over and started over. That's the beginning point, zero, 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 zero. Uh, that can be done. You can also write this as 2,400. That means it's been 24 hours and no minutes since the previous midnight. So both of these are acceptable. Let me say it again. Depends on where you work, what hospital, whoever you work for. If they say do it this way or this way, you do it the way they say. A caution. Let's say it's now 15 minutes past midnight. Well, using this way, you do 0, zero 15. What you would never do is right 2415. You know, the only time you use the 2400 is exactly midnight. Even one minute past, you wouldn't put 2401 or 2402, you'd put 0015 or 00 something or other. So the only time you use this is exactly midnight. Never put any numbers here after the 24. Okay. So there we have a brief, rapid review of how to convert times back and forth. Be able to do this because you want you have to record the times that you do things properly. The times you give treatment and medications, etc. You have to record this properly and you need to know how these times work. Extremely important stuff in the medical field.